Hi, I'm Ella from Free Cakes for Kids in Colchester. What we're here to do is to cover a ready ganached cake. You can see my other tutorial on how to cover this cake with ganache. Now what we're going to do now is cover it in fondant. Because we're trying to make all of this very easily accessible to everybody and especially our volunteer bakers, what we're going through is trying to teach you all the tips where to get things at really cheap prices but still be in a nice budget. Okay, so I pull off my greaseproof paper off here. Okay, then I have like a little lip around here so I just need to cut that off and of course you get chuckle on your hands. I have a little knife over here and just slice it around. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. Just make sure you've got nice sharp edges. Excellent. So what I say, the, the birthday child probably won't notice that it's got sharp edges, but it just makes the cake look nice and clean. Sorry. These are, it's normally a great big sheet normally probably for placemats or do you know the bendy um, chopping boards now you get I think two in a pack for a pound from home bargains and when you chop them up they're just as good as this you've got a smooth side and you've got a rough side and all I do is cut them into odd sort of squares and then cut round the cake the mold and then just do it like that okay I'm also got here my ready-made um, it's not icing, some of you may have um, icing um, shakers and things like that but I always find that it just brings out too much onto the board or onto the surface. So what I do here is fill, obviously a clean handkerchief, um, with corn flour and I've just tied just a, a ribbon round there, and just in a bowl really, and I flour my surface. Not too much, because we don't want loads on there. Okay, put that to the side. Now, you can buy really expensive fondant. Um, fondant can be called fondant, sugar paste, um, ready to roll icing, quite a few different things. This is what I was asked in a class earlier, what is fondant? Um, it's basically icing sugar that you can roll out. Um, here we have the Jane Ashes Red Roll Kitchen Icing, Poundland, 250 grams. Um, I think they do them cheaper in home bargains for about 59p, um, which is a really good deal. They, they may not be to professional standards, but it covers the cake nicely, but you have to keep them quite thick so they don't rip. Also, Sainsbury's, I've found these are the cheapest at the moment for Dr. Erka for the ready to roll icing. You get five different colours in here. So you get green, blue, yellow, red and black. Red and black I find are the hardest colours to colour. So it's just easy to buy them. So I'm going to use my 250 grams from Pathland. <laughs> Voila. So I've got these 100 grams each, these we're ready to roll ones. That's what I say, it's not the best icing, but it covers a nice cake. So this might be good for, um, if you've got a request for say, a marble cake or anything like that. To be honest, if you try and colour white fondant to make it red, it takes an age. Fingers get red and it's a fat really. We don't really want to do that, do we? Okay. Get them all out of here. There we go. So I will just get rid of them into the bin. And then they're quite hard, so you have to just work them a little bit. I always do it by the palm of my hands. As you can see, it gets stuck. You might want to put a bit of corn flour on your hand to stop it sticking. But just keep working that. This cake is going to be a gumball cake. Um, you can do whatever you want really, can't you? But it's just a simple 
cake, which I feel simple. And I believe that anybody of any level could do this. Got the gumballs from Poundland, and I'll show you in the next step all the items that I use for that. I also have two smoothers here. Um, these glide along quite easily. Um, these are a pound from Home Bargains, and we have a pizza roller, pizza cutter, um, pound lens, and then I bought, which was an absolute bargain, I think we've got a set of three of these sticky tapes um, to put around the bottom of the board. So, let's get going. And obviously, you need a rolling pin. roll away making sure that it doesn't stick to the board if you get any air bubbles in in this fondant all you need is to get a pin put it into boiling hot water just a bit in the boiling hot water and then just pop the bubbles and a bit like Going back to my um, decorating side of things, um, it's like popping the bubbles in wallpaper. You just have to try and smooth them out. I always find with fondant and everything, it's a really good workout actually. It gets the, your stomach muscles going. So maybe we ought to have a free cakes for kids. Jim. <laughs> there, I think that's quite nice. So you try and roll it roughly to what it would be on the side of your cake and to cover the top. Now the top I don't really need to cover with this because we're not going to actually see it, but just for the purpose to show you guys. This is how I'm going to do it. Okay, then because it's not stuck, fold it back like this. And what I should have done is I already prepared this with a little bit of water. So I'm just going to go and get some water and put that on for you. So, glass of water. Now you can either do this with um, a paintbrush or what I usually use is um, a spray, but obviously that's more that you have to lay out for. So in this occasion, I'm just going to pat it so that the fondant has something to adhere to. Don't do it too hard because you want to still try and keep as sharp an edge as possible. And I've just spilt it on my board. So I'll have to dry that out completely afterwards. Dun, 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 dun. I know this is all quite time consuming, isn't it? But we'll get there. There we go. If you've got too much on there, just pat it off. But I'm going to do around here because I don't want the board to be covered in the red, so I don't need to have all of this oozing out. Right? And then, make sure this unsticks now. Now try and do this bit as fast as possible because like I say, it's not really expensive fondant so it could quite easily rip. So I'm going to try and work as fast as I can and you just keep lifting up and turning, lifting up and turning just so you get all of them air bubbles out of here so that it's nice and smooth. So it's sticking to that water quite nicely now. So it's like a skirt at the moment, isn't it? Actually, this fondant's not that bad. They say it's nice and cheap, but hey. So them five colours from Sainsbury's, they're brilliant. For two pound, for 500 grams of different colours. Also, if you want to make models out of them, you need to add a little bit of Tylo powder, just a very, very tiny amount, 
mix that up. I'll leave it in an airtight bag for an hour and then you can make many, many different types of models. And that will obviously be another tutorial at another time. I love making the models. I never thought I'd be able to do it. But getting there, I'm oh, done. I do hope you're getting something out of this and I'm not... So I worked it out. This cake cost me roughly four pounds, four pounds fifty I think it was. Um, and you get the board in the box to put them in. Have a little squeeze and a little bit of a rub by the palm of your hand. Makes it nice and and then you get your pizza cutter and just go round the base. Take that off and remember with any of your fondant that dries out very very quickly especially if it's got the corn flour on. I prefer to use corn flour rather than icing sugar. So you make sure you put this into a bag. So I'm just going to go and do that. Okay, so we've got our first smoother. I'm just going to do the top nice and quick and then around the side, smooth, smooth, smooth. Smooth, smooth, smooth. And again, if you see any bubbles, you just pop them. A nice, clean base. So you don't need to always do them this tall, obviously. But this needed to be this tall to make my gum ball. Okay. The more time you spend on this, the smoother it's going to get. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is put this against here and just gently move it around. And then you can get a nice sharp edge at the top because you put all that work into the underneath. You can just leave it like that, or if you want it to have an even smoother finish, you go on the smooth side of this and you use your bigger one, press down very lightly and go around. And if you've got any type, it's almost like called elephant skin or rhino skin, where it may have ripped a little bit or might be a bit not nice, then you can just smooth all them out. Husband says I could be a plaster one now. And then just on the top. There we have a lovely coloured cake. You can see I've got a couple of little bubbles in there which I will pop. If you haven't got a pin, you can use your cocktail sticks, but it will leave a big hole. But with these smoothers, that will get all of that out. And there we go. Okay, thank you for watching. Carry on watching and try and see the next steps so you can see these lovely, beautiful cakes turning into wonderful birthday cakes. Thank you for watching, Free Cakes for Kids Cultures.